Hi, guys. Today's book is titled Insect Metamorphosis from Egg to Adult by Ron and Nancy Gore. This book is actually about a lot of different insects. But today I'm going to focus on one that's showing you the different stages of an insect's life. Hickory horned devil caterpillars. The egg is the first stage of an insect's life. Adult female insects lay eggs where they will not be seen. On the underside of a leaf, on the bark of a tree, on water, sometimes even inside other insects. Most eggs hatch in the spring or summer when it is warm. Then there is lots of food for the young insects to eat. The eggs were laid under a leaf. They are hidden so they will not be found and eaten. Look closely, you can see a black caterpillar curled up inside each egg. To hatch, a caterpillar eats a hole in its egg case and crawls out. After hatching, caterpillars nibble on the egg cases for extra energy. A caterpillar is a larva. The larva is the second stage of an insect's life. This caterpillar is called hickory horn devil. At first, the caterpillar's skin is soft and wet. After the skin dries, the caterpillar looks different. The eight horns folded behind its head straighten out. They are long and spiked. They make the caterpillar look scary even though it's harmless. The caterpillar is very tiny. It is ready to begin the important job of eating. Eating is serious business for all insects. The hickory horn devil will eat enough leaves to grow from one quarter inch long to seven inches in just two months. The caterpillar eats and grows, but it does not grow like we do. Its skeleton is on the outside where humans have skin. This outside skeleton is called an exoskeleton. It is hard like a suit of armor. The exoskeleton protects the insects. It gives it shape and keeps it from drawing out. But like a suit of armor, the exoskeleton cannot grow. It cannot stretch. To grow larger, the caterpillar must break out of its exoskeleton. This is called molting. When an insect is ready to molt, its exoskeleton splits down the back and the insect pulls itself out. This is hard work. Imagine how difficult it would be to wriggle out of a skin-tight bag without using your hands. Molting is dangerous for a molting caterpillar is helpless. If a bird attacks it, the caterpillar cannot move away. If the caterpillar is unable to wriggle out of its skin, it will die. This caterpillar is in trouble. Part of its exoskeleton is stuck to its old exoskeleton. If the insect tears a hole in the new exoskeleton, it will bleed to death. The caterpillar arches its body and tugs. The new piece of skin pulls away and the caterpillar is safe. Here you can see the old exoskeleton. And this is the new one. It's still a little bit soft but it's gonna harden soon. Folded up underneath the old exoskeleton is a new larger one. The newly molted caterpillar puffs its new exoskeleton full of air. Soon the exoskeleton hardens and the caterpillar returns to eating. It continues to eat until it has replaced all the air with food. It will molt many times. Each time it becomes larger and changes color. The hickory horn devil changes from black to brown 
to green. In the fall, when the hickory horn devil is fully grown, it stops eating. Sometime in the middle of September, it crawls down from the top of a branch of a walnut, sweet gum, or hickory tree and wanders along the ground until it finds a peat place to burrow. It digs four to six inches into the earth and hollows out a chamber. The caterpillar lies very still in its chamber. During the next few days, it loses water from its body and shrinks to about a third its grown size. The caterpillar turns white. It shudders. A few minutes pass, it shudders again. It rests and shudders many more times. Finally, the caterpillar flips on its back. The exoskeleton at the back of its head splits open. The caterpillar thrashes back and forth to wriggle out of its exoskeleton. It is now a pupa. The pupa is the third stage of an insect's life. Many changes are taking place inside the pupa. It is beginning in a, to be an adult moth. Look closely. You can see the wings and the antenna inside. When the pupa dries, it turns a rich brown. The hickory horned devil pupa spends the fall, winter, and spring in its underground chamber, tucked away from enemies and the cold weather. In the summer, when the earth warms, the pupa stirs. The skin behind its head splits and the adult climbs out. It digs itself out of the ground and climbs onto a twig or leaf. It is no longer an egg. It is no longer a big green caterpillar. It is no longer a pupa. It has become an adult. It has become a magnificent royal walnut moth. The moths wing are folded and wet. It pumps blood into them and they stiffen. When they are dry, the moth will be able to fly. The adult moth has no mouth parts. It cannot eat. It lives just long enough to find a mate. Female moths give off a special odor to attract males. This odor is called pheromone. Male moths use chemical sensors on their large feathery antenna to smell a female moth's pheromones. A male moth can follow the odor from as far as two miles away. When he reaches the female, they mate. After mating, the female royal walnut moth lays eggs on a leaf. Soon the eggs will hatch and the life story of a hickory horn devil will begin again. Hope you enjoyed the story about this insect. Tomorrow we will read about another. Have a wonderful night everyone. See you soon.